hey guys welcome back to engineers tech hub channel so in this video i'm going to discuss about of broad range interview question and answer for automation test engineer two to eight year of experience <clears throat> okay so let's move in the first question okay, let me move down okay that will good so tell me about your day-to-day -day process or they can ask you tell me about your day-to-day -day activity right so first of all you have to know agile process right so we follow mostly agile process in our project if you don't know what is the agile process we have already made the video of agile process so you can refer my playlist you will get how we are working in the agile process the same thing we can tell in our day-to-day -day activity okay and we have a one more video for day-to-day -day activity uh, so I will you will go in the description you will get a playlist list then you will uh, you can explore over there but I will explain here as well okay so basically we follow the agile process and mostly we have a two week and three week sprint and in agile we have a some ceremony so I'm not going to discuss here ceremony and all but here we have a task for you right so in your bucket so what basically i am doing day-to-day -day activity it depends upon the project and all but if you guys are not working or if someone will ask you what is your day-to-day -day activity you can explain the same thing so we have a onzo team and we have a opso team right and we have a like 10 member in our team so we have a 10 uh, a.m morning we having the a stand up meeting so what basically we discuss in our stand up meeting like what your what is your uh, plan for today what you are going to work on if you have a, any blocker or if you have a, any prioritize your uh, task and all right so this all the things we are going to discuss in our stand up then accordingly we start to work so here your work in testing we having the many types of the work guys so if you are a manual tester or if you are an automation test engineer what is your task you already know you know we have uh, some defect testing if you are in the automation might be you are working on your framework development or framework or a script development right you are writing the test cases on the scratch executing your test cases and also this is your job right so here i'm not going to explore then according to our task we start to work on our task then we having the um uh sorry on we having the one more stand up evening time with on people right so we can have a same thing like what we have worked today do you have any challenge or if you have any discussion with your dev team might be uh, depend upon you know in our team we having the dev and tester all together we have a complete team in offshore and onshore so if you have anything want to discuss so you can discuss over there right if you have any blocker any suggestion you can give to them and all right and you have to tell the daily status and your progress of your task so this is what you can explain in your day-to-day -day process it totally depend i have written the same thing you can you can stop the video and you can just read this so let's move in the another question tell me what is bug or i can say what is defect right if you are a automation uh, sorry if you are a tester right if you're automation or manual whatever if you are a tester you have a responsibility to find the defect let me keep here okay right so what is defect right actual and expected is not matching right this is what we are doing right we are catching the problem we are catching the flaw or fault of the application right a bug is an error flaw or fault in a program that caused to be a produce unexpected or incorrect result a bug can manifest in the various ways such as a crashes bridges incorrect output or incorrect behavior so back bug can occurs for a variety of reasons why including the coding mistakes designing the flaw or unexpected interaction between the part of a program finding and fixing bug is an important part of software development as it's helping ensure that the programs are reliable secure and perform a 
as a intended so the tester do tester job is to provide the good quality of the product in the market right so this is let's move in the another question so did you raise any defect yes why because this is your job right so you have to find the defect then you have to also raise many times right so basically you have to explore your jira or any uh, test management tools why because you know some people are completely confused like if you guys do not work in the testing profile and you are searching job in the experience your answer is always yes you have raised the defect how to raise the defect i have given the link to you can you can explore the jira uh, you know how to raise the defect you have to know step by steps the while raising the defect what are the steps we have right what are the main things we have while raising the defect and all right so you should know that you can refer this link you will get all these links and question in the description explain your project right so here this is the one more common and important question so what you can explain in your project if you are working on the any project so you having the clear idea about of your project you have to know into in process into inflow of your project right so in which domain you are working right if you work on the healthcare if you work on the e-commerce or any other domain right you should know you having a very good domain knowledge first then you are able to test your application right so having the end to end uh, you know knowledge so you can explain the same thing you have to explain your domain knowledge in domain knowledge in what model you have to work you can give one challenging or one sorry you can give the one like into in flow how your application is going to work totally depend upon if you are showing the project if you are showing experience in manual with automation then you can also like explain your framework as well so depend upon guys so how if the if they are asking only you have to explain application then you have to explain your application so same thing i have mentioned here you can read once okay what is an api so i have made a video on the api api testing so i have uploaded till uh, like 43 video you will get in the playlist as well you can visit in my channel playlist you will get it so here just i have collected some point api stand for application programming interface it is a set of protocol routing and tools for building software application and api define the way in which a uh, different software component should interact with each other api enable the different software system to communicate with each other and provide a better for the software access functionality of the other system or application right api can be used to perform a, a, a wide variety of tasks such as re retrieving the data sending the message or performing the a specific actions so i have already given the here live example of the api how it will work so you can refer this link so next question is can you explain your framework and what is your contribution on your framework so guys uh, i already have a video for the framework so you can refer this video you know how to explain your framework and about your contribution so you having the at least flow how the flow is working you have to know how to develop the functionality right core part of the framework you will get the chance to work like i can say i have I have uh, some contribution to develop the core part of the framework, like some of the reusable method I have developed, like how to fetch the data from the Excel, how to fetch properties file. I have configured extend report, right? So these all the things you have to explain in your contribution. Another contribution is you are maintaining your framework. Like if you, if you are getting any requirement from new requirement then we have to develop and we have to take care to core part things right so this is how we can you know explain and how to explain e2e framework so if we'll refer this link what do you mean of max instance and max session okay 
so this is like a some new question i found here so max instant sorry instance the maximum number of concurrent instance of the software application that can be tested simultaneously like example if software application can be run on the multiple web server okay so your application is going to run with multiple web server the maximum number of instance that can be tested at the same time may be limited by factors such as available the hardware resources or license agreement okay so if you're not satisfied this answer you can google it explore it okay max session what is the max session the maximum amount of time that can user interact with software application during a testing session like some session testing we are doing of your application right so for example if the software application has a login time of 30 minutes the maximum session time of the testing might be said 25 minutes to allow the enough time for tester to complete their task and recorded record any observation or issue okay so you can google it for explore more the things right <laughs> okay suppose i want to check a particular exception in the test ng how will you do it so if you want to check an exception in the test ng you can use ex expected exception attribute in test annotation here add the a direct test annot annotation to matter in your test ng that class that that test class that if you want to test for example add the expected exception attribute to <coughs> add the red test annotation and specify the exception class that you expect to be a throw for example if you expect a null pointer exception you would write at the red test expected exception equal to null pointer exception dot dot class in the <laughs> like we have a snapshot for this so in the given body of test method that code so here like here expected exception i have a null pointer exception dot class so i can explore more so it's like whatever the answer i have given but you guys can also do r d or you can find some better answer you can make it you can learn the things my agenda is to share like the question what you know like you know the level of the question what they are asking so again thank you so much for watching this video if you are new in the channel please subscribe my channel and press bell icon to get new video notification one more thing i want to discuss so you can search here engineers tech hub okay if you will go in the engineers tech hub if you are planning to switch a job or if you are starting your interview so here many of the automation testing sorry many of the manual test engineer and the people who is from non-tech guy they are searching job at the experience level so what i found the issue they are not able to explain the real-time interview question and answer so i have made the one playlist for real-time interview question and answer so you can just refer this playlist you can bookmark so what the challenges you have faced what is your roles and responsibility you can see we have a what is the day-to-day -day activity like what we have discussed so these are the common question guys so you can just watch once it will be definitely helpful for you then we have a complete playlist for api testing and rest assured still i am working on this till now i have uploaded 43 video on uh you know api testing then you can refer the playlist which i am working on that so here you have a top level of the mnc company question and answer so you can just refer and you will get some idea what type of the question the company is asking again thank you so much guys for watching my video and if you are new in the channel please do not forget to subscribe and press bell icon if you have any suggestion any feedback please comment we know and definitely i will reply back to you thank you so much See you in the next video bye bye